Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and much more depending on your location. Please join in the struggle to liberate our people from the contraption. Like and share videos today is Thursday, the 14th day of March 2024. I bring the news of that. We are living in fear. Igbo traders are endangered species. Igbos in Kogi State raise alarm. Yes. Now, talking about the kidnappings, the killings, insecurity bedeviling the country. Now, it was in Kogi State, particularly the traders. They protested at the Kogi State capital, Lokoja, on Tuesday. Yes, the Igbo businessmen bemoaned the trend of abduction. That, yes, they said men from the underworld had persisted in picking their wives. Hold them ransom. Yes, they will be. They will be, you know, kidnapping women, the wives of these businessmen, demanding ransom payment. Yes. So they said the Igbo leadership, that's the Igbo traders, has slated, for, slated protest in Kogi State. Yes, for this reason. It's two days protest. They protested on Tuesday, but on Wednesday, they cancelled it. They said because of the intervention of the government of Kogi State and the local government. Yes, in Lokoja. That's Lokoja. Local government officials intervened. Yes. Now, they said this has become a trend or a norm. They said it continues to happen. Talking about the kidnapping of the wives of these civil businessmen in Kogi State. One of the protesters said, after they release one person, the next month they will pick another person. This has been going on for over two years. The protest was planned for two days, but it was cut off. Today, being Wednesday, they said, according to our leadership, they said government officials and officials of local government intervened in the matter. So they suspended the protest. I've seen it now. So, but... Uh, what Mr. Sundika said, the kidnapping of Igbos in the state is becoming alarming. We are living in fear. Igbo traders are endangered species. One Igbo lady was recently kidnapped while returning from church. Her abductors refused to release her until the husband paid a good sum of money as ransom. Now, this is what is happening in Kogi state. The kidnapping of the Wives of these businessmen, they have seen it. So that's the spate of insecurity, kidnappings for ransom in the northern region. Yes. So it shows that there's no place that is safe in the entire northern region. No place in the southern region. The people of the region, they are working hard. But the, the, the non-state actors, in quote, those who are not in government, they are working hard to secure their enclave. They are working hard to secure their regions in the southern part of the country. Yes, they are making sure that they ward off these uh, marudas. Yes, if you allow the state governments in the southern region, they will do nothing. The marudas will, you know, will invade the communities. In the southern region, but save for the efforts of the, those that are calling non-state actors, they are the one making sure that this thing does not spiral. Yes, these things that are made, particularly in the southeast, we have the BLA. They're making sure that this ugly train doesn't spiral to the southeast. Yes, so but we are. Afraid of our brothers who are living in the north as these things are happening. Look at what they are facing in the northern region. Kogi State. You have seen it. So they said they wanted to protest heavily on Tuesday and Wednesday, but they cancelled that of Wednesday. Because the local the caretaker committee, the caretaker chairman of local jail local government area, one Ablah Adamu met with Igbo traders and he told them 
that they will make sure that this thing stopped and they will continue to foster security and promote peaceful coexistence among all ethnic nationalities in their states. So these things they are saying, you know, it's not true. They are trying to calm the people so that they will not get the, inter the attention of the international community of what is happening in Kogi State. Otherwise, how are you going to stop it? As a Kataka Community Chairman in Lokoja, how are you going to stop these kidnappings? This is beyond the federal government. You are saying you are Kataka Community. Local, of local government, you are stopping this kind of thing. The insecurity in Nigeria is beyond the federal government. They even call on the US to come and help them rescue the two, over 287 children kidnapping in Kataka State. Yes? It's beyond them. Kidnapping, collecting money. That's what is happening in the whole region. Mass kidnapping. So, but this one affects the most directly in Kogi State. The wives that are being kidnapped, their husbands have been, you know, asked to pay ransom, huge amount of money. You have seen it. So, indeed, boy, this one is red flag as well. To tell you that any preparation towards the referendum, what it? You guys have to come out and give full support to the plan for referendum, to preparation for referendum. Support your own. Support my Samanipa. Yes, that is the point we are making. And anything being done to get my Samanipa out of detention, you must comply with it. So you must support it. Yes, wholesomely. Because you have seen the whole, the whole thing. The meeting is on the wall. Your, your wives are being kidnapped in the state. So the only thing, the only solution to it is for people to return to the south. It's simple. There's no other solution. It will get to the point that everybody will be going home. Yes, you start coming to the southeast to to do your business. Because unless you know, death is preferable than life. Otherwise, there's nothing that one can tell me that oh, we're doing business in Kogi State or in the north. There's no place in the southeast to stay. You have seen what is happening. They are hell bent. They have destroyed the country. So, Kogi State is now a place, particularly that of Lokoja, where Igbos who are doing business there, their wives, have been targeted. They are the endangered species because they feel that their husband has money. That's all. So, it's a problem. But we have said the solution is referendum for their friends. The sad isness in the north start, should start thinking of. Investing home, homewards. Yes. So the issue of, oh, we are making money in the north. You are making money and your life is at risk. Your children, they are at risk. Your wife, at risk. They have been kidnapped. Before they release, they must have been raped. The women must have been raped by these bandits. So what's the essence? So it's time to call the spell by its name. You have to start taking off, returning home, all the northern, all the Igbos.